Friday the 13th, and you know what's more horrifying? More horrifying than Jason Voorhees? A lizard foot man. The horror. Oh, kids. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of Cinderella 2015. This movie has been remade so many times from the classic Disney anime movie that came out like 60 years ago now. Holy crap, it's been a long while. Uh, but anyway, this movie uh, adaptation that's been adapted even in Into the Woods came out not that long ago, which I, I saw and I meant to review. But anyway, uh, this movie is directed by Kenneth Brandon, uh, who you know from Thor. Uh, he uh, really brings this movie to life, really brings out the classic Disney fairy tale feeling that we grew up on, uh, but still gives it a little bit of modern retelling without doing the full on like Maleficent uh, Frozen twist that they've been doing lately with all these um, Disney fairy tale movies. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about the cast first. We got Lily James, who is freaking adorable, beautiful, just like the sweetest thing ever as Cinderella. She just really, Cinderella in this movie is not just like a damsel in distress. I mean, she, you see what she goes through, like, and that's what I really like. You really see her relationship with her parents. You really see that she's just trying to follow what her, um, especially her mom says, which is, uh, be kind and be courageous. Um, you know, really nice, uh, really inspiring words. And she really tries to take that to heart. Um, you know, she even though she's living in the worst circumstances, she really is trying to, you know, you know, have hope, have patience, have, you know, just like karma will be good to her as long as she does this. So uh, I can understand that. And she she's just trying to hold on to her home which has been in her family's generations for years. So I like that explains why she's in her situation and she really brings like a really strong will and a very like, you just, you can understand why people would love her and she's not just beautiful on the outside, but definitely beautiful on the inside. She's a very kind uh, woman and very smart too. You know, I really like that they play on Cinderella being smart. She's just not, not, she's not just good at like being a servant girl. She's very smart. She's very, you know, you know, she has so many great traits and, you know, she's almost like the perfect woman, which people might complain about, but, you know, she, she's definitely supposed to be a beacon of hope, uh, for, uh, just being in really bad circumstances and not giving up. So I really like that aspect of her character. Now, Kate Blanc said, plays a total biatch of a stepmother. Uh, but I also like that she brings more depth to the character too. You understand from her point of view, even though she's very horrible to Cinderella, uh, but understanding that they really plant the seeds of why she would do the things she does to Cinderella because of what she went through and how she was treated even by Cinderella's father. So. I really like that, and Kate Blanchett is, you know, she's such a superb actress, so I totally love uh, how she played the stepmother. She was, she brought a lot to it. And uh, Richard Madden, uh, Rob Stark, <laughs> oh man, he is, uh, seriously, man, those eyes, oh, I can understand why Cinderella would fall in love with him after one meeting. By the way, I really do like that uh, Cinderella and Prince, which his name is, um, I think, gosh, it's 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 something Rick or something. Uh, I like that they give him a name. It's just not just Prince Charming and my cats here to like interrupt my review again. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I really like that they give uh, him and Cinderella a chance to really talk, get to know each other, not just before the ball, but actually during the ball. And, you know, they really have some kindred spirits and they really like, you can see that if you watch Game of Thrones, you know that uh, how much Richard Madden brings to the character. He really, it kind of parallels his relationship uh, to his, you know, God, I'm trying to think of the character here in Game of Thrones uh, that he eventually marries. And I won't say spoil Game of Thrones, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I, I really, uh, I can see why she would fall in love with him. And oh, he's just so dreamy. Anyway, he was awesome. Um, 
Also, another Game of Thrones character, Nonso Onsi. So I like how there's a couple of Game of Thrones actors. Uh, he plays a great job as the captain. He is awesome. I, I love him. Helmbaum Carter. For once, in a Disney movie that's not directed by Tim Burton, uh, she just has so much fun playing the fairy godmother. She is funny. Uh, she's kooky. She does the bibbly bobbly boob, which is a great nod to the original. I, I think she was uh, wonderful she, you know, in her uh, little, small little role. And Stellan Sarsgaard, who you know from uh, 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 Dr. Sel Eric Selvin from Thor, uh, The Avengers, Thor The Dark World, he was great. Uh, the cast is just wonderful. The, the actresses that play the evil stepsisters are so animated. They're not as bad as the, uh, the fairies uh, at, in uh, Maleficent, uh, but they are very animated. By the way, uh, Derek Jacoby, who plays the king, uh, uh, he, his, I really like that they really uh, develop a great relationship with him and the prince. Um, uh, he really had, some, there was definitely some tearjerker scenes, and I have to bring that up. Ben Chaplin and Haley Atwell, uh, Peggy Carter, uh, they play Cinderella's parents, and there were some wonderful, wonderful moments. Uh, with them. Um, they really like all oh, God the feels. <laughs> so yeah, so that's one thing I really love about this movie. It really brings uh, the relationships with the parents for Cinderella and the prince. Uh, you really understand why they would love each other and this movie really teaches it's not just about wishing like you know that something will happen better. It's just having hope and you know, no matter what you've gone through and who you are, it's about, uh, you know, hope the, hoping that people will love you for who you are regardless of what you go through. And that, that was a great message on it. Now, uh, first off, before I give my verdict, I want to say the little Frozen short was also super adorable. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Toy Story shorts we've been getting, uh, but it's very adorable. The song is awesome, and I really love seeing uh, the Frozen characters again. I can't wait for Frozen 2. I'm actually all on board for Frozen 2 because I love it. So definitely a great package getting that Frozen short before Cinderella. So uh, in short, uh, if you love the classic Disney feelings, just a classic fairy tale, but at the same time wanted a little bit of uh, change for, uh, to really tell a story for modern audiences, and it's also, by the way, the cinematography is just beautiful. This uh, kingdom is just gorgeous. Um, the CGI mice and lizards, and you know, like I said, the lizard footman, could be a little scary. Uh, not Well, not the mice, but they're just... Yeah, but uh, it, the CGI is pretty good, but some parts it's like, eh, you know, not as bad as some other, you know, CGI we've seen from some Disney films, but yeah. So, with that said, I would give Cinderella a 4 out of 5. Definitely go see it if you love classic Disney fairy tales. It's not the greatest uh, Disney movie of all time, but definitely super enjoyable. Uh, like I said, if if you were upset about some of the changes like in Maleficent, then you'll be happy with that. But if you were happy about changes like that in Maleficent, then this might be a little too by the books for you, but I still recommend this. So yeah, and um, for more, check out my website at seanlikeslong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mary live long and love life. By the way, Cinderella and the Prince, I'm glad that they may have a red wedding because it's a nice day for a red wedding. Yow. God, I was so nervous about that ending. Oh God. <laughs> uh, thank you, Disney, for not going Game of Thrones on us. Good evening, Commissioner. I need to ask you one question. Why so serious? Oh, I'm serious. Serious Black. <laughs>